welcome back. I officially have my first haul in our new home for you guys. And I went to Smith's. Now, apparently Smith's is also known as Kroger. So over the weekend, I actually posted a poll on my Instagram and wanted to know if you guys wanted to see this time for my first one, either Smith's or Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, of course, is always a tried or true, but this one actually won. And I was really excited about it because we did not have one where we lived before. So this was totally new to me and it was a success. I really liked it. It's a big store, it is. So again, apparently Kroger and Smith's is one of the same, so hopefully Hopefully if you don't have a Smith's but you have a Kroger, you'd be able to find this stuff as well. So I have a lot. So real quick, just to give you an update as to why I bought some of the things that I did, and I'll show you of course, is our stuff still won't be here for about a week. And I mentioned this on yesterday's vlog in case you did not catch that. So with that, there's things that I don't necessarily need, but I need them right now. So Nate, my husband, has been here for about two months off and on, as you know, of course, if you follow the vlogs as well. And you know what? As fun as it sounds to always be eating out at different restaurants and trying different places, don't get me wrong, we shared so many with you guys of these incredible places. You do get sick of it, you do. And it's been like two months and he's ready for something, you know, cooked at home. With that said, <laughs> I did get my air fryer here, I did. And that is going to take us a long way. But with that too, I only have one pan, one little skillet pan. I have no pots, I, I don't, I have paper plates, we're killing it. But, but I'm gonna try my best to you know, put some things together this week, that way we don't have to be eating out. And uh, I'm gonna do some like breakfast burritos, that's an easy one. And then crisp them up in the air fryer when you're ready to reheat them and you're good to go. You know what I mean? But I just wanted to give you that update and again, why I got some of the things that I did get just to get us by. And of course I can still you know, use them even when all of our stuff you know, arrives. I would like your opinion on one thing too though and I don't know if there really is a right or wrong answer obviously we did not when we packed up our stuff and the movers are gonna bring everything we didn't pack up the refrigerator food obviously but I did pack about four eh, decent sized boxes of like pantry stuff that was still you know unopened and should be you know good however it is super, super hot right now, even back where we were and where it is coming to. And again, this stuff is going to probably be on a truck for a good three to four days minimum, more than likely. What do you guys think? Like it's going to probably be well, well over a hundred degrees on that truck for our stuff. <laughs> is it still okay? I mean, is, if, canned foods, is that still okay? I mean, I tell myself that like even grocery stores, they have to get the stuff there somehow, but maybe they're like in, you know, temperature controlled trucks. Do you know what I mean? Do, do you keep the food? Do you not? Is rice probably okay? I would like your feedback on that. And again, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer, but I'm just kind of curious what you guys think. Cause again, I do have a few boxes that will be coming that, you know, is also food to stock up on. But I just don't know what to trust or not <laughs> when it comes to that and not getting sick, you know? Anyway, sorry for the long intro. Just wanted to give you a little update of where we're at. I'm excited to put stuff in my pantry. Here we go. I'm going to put the prices with everything if I can. I don't know how their receipt system works. I've never been here before, but I'll try. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. Please do give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And let's just get into it. I'll give you just like a little quick overview here too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got lots of goods, lots of goods. All right. So speaking again of things that I don't necessarily need, you know, in the future, but I need them now. I need a knife. <laughs> I have like a butter knife, but that ain't going to work to chop up veggies and stuff. So Smith's did have just like, you know, a little section. And that's what I went ahead and did is just picked up this five inch uh, knife and then just got one of these like wood turners uh, for, you know, cooking stuff up in the pan. I just needed something, you know, and then I was happy to see actually Mrs. Myers is one of my favorite brands for actually this in particular. This is my favorite. They're multi-surface cleaner just for like countertops and stuff. I 
love this. You can find it at Target too, and I was happy that, again, Smith's had it, and I love the lemon verbena scent. I love it. And then I really like their dish soap as well, so I picked up one of those. And then again, I really don't need food storage containers. I love snapwares. I packed all that up, but just to get us by this week, this will work. So I just got these little round Ziploc ones. I did get some storage bags. That way I can prep all the fruit and stuff. And then we needed a sponge. It's the things you don't think about, right? So I got this little three pack here of these sponges, but I think that's pretty good. I mean, I really didn't go overboard. I got what I needed for just, you know, again, preparing some meals with what we do have. All right. So on to the produce real quick. I do want to mention when we got here earlier last week, we did go by Costco. <laughs> we needed chlorine for our pool and we did pick up a few things that being, um, the Dave's killer bread. So there's another one in the freezer cause it comes in a two pack got some limes and we got a bunch of avocados they're not quite ready but they're getting there uh, so I got those as well we also got some plant milks too so I didn't need to get any of that on this particular haul this time but I thought I would mention that all right so for the produce I did go ahead and get the granny smith apples now my kiddo I mentioned on the vlog as well he was coming like next week is what I said well that next week is only like two days now and I'm so excited and he loves his green apples so I gotta have him stocked up too I want to mention as well, these are organic. There wasn't a huge organic section at Smith's, but they did have some. So I did where I could, uh, just to mention that. I got some oranges. I have been craving oranges. And again, if you're newer to my channel, we just moved to Las Vegas and it's the surface of the sun. It really is. Uh, so I, I need these back. I do. They look really good. Just the little cutie oranges. And then I also got the gold potatoes here. I'm going to again do some like breakfast style burritos. Really simple. I also got two big sweet potatoes here. You guys know I love to do sweet potatoes in the air fryer. And again, I got it here. So I am good to go there. What I am missing though, and I just thought about it is you guys know I love to put the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's on there and I don't have that yet it's coming <laughs> I'll make it work. It's okay. But I got some of those as well. Got some bananas. Got one onion here for the breakfast burritos. Got some peppers too. The green one and red. Got a couple zucchini. These I believe are not organic just to mention it to you but these ones are for the zucchini. I also got some baby carrots. I actually love like the full size carrots and then chopping them up. I love, I don't know. I personally think they just taste better, but I don't have a peeler. So <laughs> I just got the baby carrots this time. That'll work. I got one bag of lemons here. See, it even has like the Kroger label on it. I never knew that. Anyway, got those two. And then this watermelon looked so good. Now they had it where you again, you could chop it up yourself, but something about this one just, I had to do it. So got some watermelon here. And then I did get one thing of blueberries. Of course, I got everything to stock up on my oats. I'm not going to lie. You guys know I love oatmeal. I really do. It doesn't sound overly appealing right now when it's so hot, but I know I'm still going to want it. So I got it blueberries. <laughs> anyway, I also got a fresh thing here of parsley. I love to put this into breakfast burritos. I've mentioned this to you guys before. Whatever like recipe you love for uh, doing breakfast burritos, if you make them at home, keep it as is, but add fresh parsley right at the end where it kind of warms through, but doesn't even like, you don't cook with it per se. It is incredible. It brings such like a freshness to it. I love it. I got two things here of green onions and I'm very excited because we have a garden beds now and I'm going to take the bulbs and go plant them and then I shouldn't have to buy them anymore. So I'm going to do that, but I got some of those as well. Got one big thing here of celery just to chop that up, put with peanut butter or hummus. And I got some raspberries and blackberries. These they did not have in an organic option. I try to when I can, of course, but Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But I love fresh berries. Nate loves blackberries, so got those for him to have. And then they had the red grapes on sale, but then they also had the cotton candy grapes. If you've never had these before, they pretty much always have them this time of year at Trader Joe's for sure. 
and they straight up taste like cotton candy. It is crazy, it really is. So I got some of those too. And then I got some broccoli here. I'm gonna also air fry the broccoli. That is so delicious. I always mention that too. It takes on such a different flavor than steamed broccoli, which I can't steam anything right now anyway, <laughs> but I'm just gonna air fry it. So, so good. It's very nutty in flavor when you do that. And then I got one bag here of romaine hearts. This is organic as well. And I was thinking about making like fresh salsa. We actually have some tomatoes in our garden as well. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take the easy route on this one. So this time I just did the fresh craving salsa here in mild looks good enough for me, you know? And then I saw that they had this private selection as the brand, garlic hummus. Doesn't that look so good? Looks like it has a lot of flavor, again, for veggies and crackers and stuff. And then I also did take an easy route too and just picked up this little thing here of minced garlic. Uh, again, just to make my life easier right now. So that's pretty much the fresh produce, but I'll bring you over here to all the fun stuff. I also wanted to mention real quick, and I took a picture for you guys as well. They have Gardein frozen stuff, like a lot of it. I would say most of the varieties are there, which is great. And I wanted to mention that, but technically this is not part of the haul. This was also something that Nate picked up last week, loaded up our freezer with, and uh, it was at Whole Foods and it was on sale at the, that week. I double checked for you guys today and it looks like it's not on sale anymore, but I think these were only like 333, something like that uh, last week. And when I looked again today, there were back to like 429, I believe, which is also what they were at Smith's too. But I just wanted to mention that to you that they are there as well. And again, he stocked up. He got the crispy tenders. He loves those. And then we got the chicken strips here and it comes with teriyaki sauce on the side. And then these beefless tips. I've had this before, um, but it's been a while since I've had the, that particular kind. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that as well. All right, now the fun stuff. So got myself some Skinny Pop popcorn. These are just the individual bags. They were actually completely out of the big one. You guys know I love my popcorn. Super quick and easy snack for sure. And I love these. Nate, not so much. You can find these um, at Sprouts and sometimes uh, Costco will have it as well. I love them. I really do. It's like just dehydrated veggies, but it's salted and it tastes amazing. And if you want, you can eat them, of course, just like this, but you can also just like take a good handful and like crumble it up and use it like croutons on a salad. I love them, they're good. And then I got some sunflower seeds too. Also another thing I love to add to salads as well. And then over here, they have these bai. Is that how you say it? I always say bai. Is it bay? Bai? Oh God. These are really, really good. I've had them before, but it's been a while and I saw that they were on sale. I was like, yes, let's stay hydrated. This is probably my favorite flavor out of all of them is the Brasilia blueberry. And then I also got the uh, Clementine one. I'm craving orange right now, I really am. They also had the Lenny and Larry's cookies on sale too, so I stocked up on those. Just kind of got one of each. They didn't have the Choco Mint flavor, which is like my new favorite from for these cookies. They're so delicious, but these are still good too. We got Snickerdoodle, double chocolate, chocolate chip, and then the white macadamia uh, chip as well. And then my friends, I saw these and I was so excited. We originally tried these, I think it was this one too, um, in a vegan cuts box. And this was months and months ago and we loved it. It is like, kind of like a cookie meets the cookie dough is like the texture, it's so good, so good. I, so again, I've had the birthday cake one, and then um, I don't think I've had the chocolate brownie one. I have not been able to find these in store anywhere before after had trying them from that box. So when I saw them, I got them. These were the only two flavors they did have. I do believe they do have more like this brand, um, but they're gluten-free too. You would never know. So good. I highly recommend those. And then, like I said, my kiddo is on his way very soon. I'm counting down and I pick, gotta stock him up. So I got him some of these Annie's Vegan Max. These were also on sale. They're really quick and easy too. They come in like the little cups. You just heat them up and you're good to go. And then we needed butter. Who runs out of butter? We did. We never had it. <laughs> I wanted to try out the Country Crock Plant Butter with olive oil. They also had the Earth Balance one there as well, but I saw this next to it and I was like, well, we'll try something different. So got that and then, you know, 
take your girl anywhere. She's got to have her crispy onions, specifically the garlic pepper ones. They're amazing. They really are. I love putting those on salads and burgers. That's my thing. Love it. So I got a couple of those. And then over here too, I do still have a lot of my safe and fair granola, which I love if assuming it's gonna make the trip and be okay, but I have some that are still sealed. But in the meantime, I picked this one up, the Cascadian Farm, uh, blueberry vanilla kind of cereal slash granola, really good, quick, easy breakfast. I did pick up one thing of tofu. I'm gonna crumble that up for the burritos. And I love this brand, by the way, Nasoya, very good. And I got also the sugar-free maple syrup. Now I am someone that will totally have regular syrup too, but I have to tell you, this Maple Grove Farms, you can find this at Walmart actually too, I think is delicious. I really, really like it. And it is it is extremely low calorie when you are comparing it so I go this route, I'm good with it. One of my other favorites, and probably is my absolute favorite for sugar-free, is the Joseph's brand. And that's usually at Whole Foods, and it is so good, it's so thick. And for being a sugar-free one, it's kind of just crazy, I love it. But anyway, just thought I'd mention that. And then I thought this might be a quick, easy meal. I saw this, and plant-based 60-second bowl, Mediterranean style, chickpeas, olives, and lemon. I mean, it sounds good, right? We'll see, it's easy. Uh, they did also have like a Chipotle one, and then they had, I think like a masala one too, but I just, I don't know, it sounded good, so I thought I would try this out as well. And then here we got the Follow Your Heart Ranch. This can go again for D Dunkin' Veggies in, and of course salads, I love this. They had the Follow Your Heart vegan blue cheese one too. I don't think I've ever tried that before, but I went with ranch. Nate loves it. So got that. And then I love the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauces. I believe all of them are vegan, but do not hold me to that because there's a ton of varieties of like different flavors and stuff, but I love this. I do. It's a little bit thin in comparison to many barbecue sauces out there, but again, it is also one of those that is much lower in calorie. This is the kind of stuff too that like, listen, if you have a favorite and it's 100 calories for a tablespoon of it and you love it, make it work, <laughs> have it, you know? But these are the types of things that can really like add up too without even really thinking about it. And so over the years of, you know, losing weight and stuff, I just have found some of these substitutes and I just think they're really good. So you might as well keep on doing them, you know? Anyway, that's my spiel. I also saw they had the Simple Truth. That was like a common brand, especially for the like plant-based stuff. So kind of new to me, but I'm gonna give this a shot. The non-dairy hot pepper cheesy slices. Looks good, right? Never seen this before. We will see. They didn't have a huge variety of vegan cheeses, like other, like they had Daya and stuff that I've seen everywhere, but this was the only thing that like I hadn't seen before. My kiddo loves the Light Life uh, Smart Dogs. These are the jumbo ones, so they're slightly bigger. So I got some of these for him. I've had people ask me like, do I like them like for hot dogs? Is that a good sub? And I, I have had them before. I do like them, but to be fair, I just never was really big into hot dogs before. So I'm not like maybe the best person to tell you, but I'll tell you my kid likes them. He really does. <laughs> so I got those. And then this is also again by that Simple Truth brand and the turkey style deli slices. Of course, naturally, I'm going to compare them to Tofurky, which you guys know I really, really enjoy. But they had these and I thought I would give them a shot. Just quick sandwiches. It's easy, you know? So I'll keep you posted on that. This was really cool to see. So Back to Nature, if you are not new here, you know is one of my all time favorite brands out there for crackers and for cookies. So good, it really is. And you can get lucky sometimes and find some things at Grocery Outlet, which is no longer uh, available to me, but where we were before it was, but always keep your eye out because sometimes they sneak them in there. And you can of course find them at Sprouts and Whole Foods as well. I think possibly Target too, but I love them. They're so good. Last time I actually got these, um, but they were like a black pepper flavor and they were so good, but they only have the regular this time, but that's okay. Got the uh, crispy wheat crackers as well, just like wheat thins, and then got the double cream cookies, basically Oreos. And then I always tell you guys, if you're someone missing Cheez-Its, there you go. 
they're better. They're so good. They really are. And these were all on sale right now for like $1.99. So I had to do it. You know, there's rules. <laughs> so got those as well. And I'm going to skip around over here real quick. This Partake brand has become really par popular, I feel like. And at Trader Joe's, they have the like kind of birthday cake type flavor and then a chocolate chip, but I've never seen these two flavors anywhere at all. I know you can find this brand too at Target as well, but it sounded unique. Nate loves carrot cake. That's one of his favorites actually. So I thought those for him and then the ginger snap, I really like, but it's kind of one of those like you crave it every once in a while. It's not like my everyday go-to, I guess, flavor. But I'm gonna try it out, I am. We will see. What I have found in these cookies before, they're gluten-free by the way too, if that's something that you are looking for. Um, I really like them to like crumble on top of like a smoothie bowl or oatmeal. If you're just wanting something sweet on it, I really like that. They're not like the best cookies on their own, in my opinion, out of all the ones that are out there. But again, it's good as like a topping to something or like yogurt even, Nate's done that before. So I'm just throwing that out there for you. And then look. Your girl, this is the big one, has been out of peanut butter for like five days. I don't recommend that. <laughs> I got the big one. I love this brand too as well. I mean, I like all peanut butter, let's be real. But the Adams 100% Natural Crunchy Peanut Butter, it is literally just peanuts and salt and it brings me happiness. So we got the big one. We are set. <laughs> they also had the original vegan veggie patties by Boca. These are my all-time favorite. They're cheap, they're delicious, they're quick to cook up, and I always do that and slice it up and put it on a salad. It's like my go-to, I love it. So I saw that they had those, that was awesome because these have kind of become hit and miss. They were one of the originals and so popular to find and now I feel like they're kind of phasing away and that makes me nervous. So <laughs> glad to see that they had them. I also, again, like I said, got my oatmeal gotta have it you know so i got the better oats brand um just quick oats and then i got some of these quaker rice cakes as well my kiddo loves these he likes the boring plain ones he sometimes even prefers them unsalted i'm like what <laughs> anyway got those for him and then i got the tortillas here for again the breakfast burritos and then i saw that they had the cliff builder bars on sale right now for 10 for 10. so i got five of the peanut butter and i got five of the chocolate mint and i love the mint you know this and nate likes the peanut butter so it's weird i mean you, i just told you I'm, I'm obsessed with peanut butter it's my favorite thing but when it comes to stuff like this chocolate mint all the way <laughs> i also got one little like trail mix pack here of this power up protein pack trail mix it's got almonds cashews raisins pumpkin seeds peanuts and cherries if you know me you know what it's missing though it's missing those pineapple fruit chunks i should have bought those on the side Anyway, <laughs> got that too. I love to take a handful of that midday. Just when you need a little pick me up, it, it works for me. And then I got two of the endangered species, almond sea salt at dark chocolate. It's my all time favorite chocolate bar. All time favorite. Incredible, love it, highly recommend it. Got one cooking spray here as well, um, just again to get by. And then, you know, some salt and pepper. We don't have that either. <laughs> So it's kind of funny because all of our like spices and stuff too, I've, I've packed them all up, but in the meantime, you gotta spice up your food at least a little bit. So got the basic one till our other stuff gets here. So that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited to put all this away. It's a real thing. I love to organize a pantry, I really do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.